What do you know about Diddy, Jennifer? The Bennifer divorce saga has taken another shocking twist, leaving fans in disbelief. Rumors are swirling that J Lo was secretly married to Sean Diddy Combs while still married to Ben Affleck, sparking intense speculation about what really went down. As Ben's insiders begin to spill the tea, new details are emerging that may explain why he decided to walk away. From alleged secret marriages to past controversies, this drama is far from over. Join us as we dive into the latest revelations and uncover the truth behind one of Hollywood's most talked about breakups. He's gonna be a mentor on the show. So he said he's gonna be the one to show the kids how to do it. Right. Do you have any advice for him to come on? No, I mean, he knows what he's doing. I don't have really anything. No advice for him. No advice for him. <laughs> anything to say about the kind words? It's nice. Ben's insiders are spilling some serious tea, revealing all the reasons why he decided to part ways with J Lo. Among the most shocking claims is a possible secret marriage to Sean Diddy Combs during her relationship with Ben. Fans are now connecting the dots, and many believe this might explain why Ben left and hasn't looked back. In case you forgot, Diddy and J Lo were headline makers from 1999 to 2001, and their relationship was anything but perfect. You really thought that just running off and marrying Ben Affleck was going to take you out of the Diddy downfall? J Lo also revealed in an interview after the breakup that Diddy would threaten her often just because they couldn't make time for each other. But that's not it. The plot thickened because the singer also revealed that Diddy would threaten to divorce her. Now that's what fans set off. Why? Well, the pair did spend two years but Diddy never put a ring on it. The singer said, a lot. He told me many times, I want a divorce. It was also revealed that Diddy would often bring up divorce during their arguments. J Lo said, I'll be away so much, or he'll be. He can't get away, whatever, but he'll say, so where do I send the papers? Now, if Diddy and J-Lo did break up, then fans wouldn't have been surprised, but according to J-Lo, the reason why the pair broke up was because of the differences between their personalities. Rings a bell? Yeah, Ben and J-Lo both put that down as the reason for the divorce. According to J-Lo, she was a homebody while Puffy was all about partying. The singer said, Diddy loves to go out. She further revealed, He's been a going out to clubs person all his life, doing his thing. I've always been a homebody, so we switch off what we do when we're together. I don't really like to talk about us because I don't feel like it's anybody's business. It's a separate thing. He's an artist, I'm an artist, we have two separate careers. And get this, she revealed that she didn't enjoy her relationship with Diddy at all. She said, it wasn't a great time in my life. It was scary, and we broke up many times before that, and got back together and broke up again, and nobody knew about it. It was very tempestuous. Towards the end, it was emotionally exhausting. It was good that I was young. I didn't like him because, you know, I, Sean and I were very different that way. You know, I was very, like, family-oriented and a, kind of a, you know, the married type. You know, I was actually, when we first worked together on the video, I was married. Now Diddy has been making all the headlines recently and we all know why. But the million dollar question on fans' minds is why is Diddy the only one paying the price? In case y'all forgot what happened a decade ago, J Lo and Diddy were a part of a shooting. Thanks to Diddy's connections, he got away. His friend, rapper Shine, was the one who had to serve around 10 years in jail. Fans haven't let this one slide. Many believe that Diddy and Lopez were the ones who pulled the trigger, and they're now demanding that the feds reopen the case to investigate both Diddy and J Lo. Then suddenly shots were heard. And again, this could not be confirmed who made the first shot, but it was confirmed that one of the shots did come from Puffy's gun. A victim of the shooting, Natani Rubin has also spoken about it in an interview saying, I literally watched them pull out the guns. Ruben also said, I had a clear point of view. I mean, for God's sake, I got shot in my nose. I was facing them directly. I watched everything occur and have described it vehemently to all parties involved. I have nine bullet fragments remaining in my face. She further added, who better to tell you what happened than the person who got shot smack dab in between my eyes. But guess what? J Lo decided to completely walk away from the truth. She said, we were somewhere we shouldn't have been. It was a bad situation, and any bad situation that involves celebrities, people run with. She further added, I was scared to death in the car. I had absolutely no idea what was going on. No one did. 
and both were arrested right away as cops found a nine millimeter stolen, you know, in Diddy's car. So for the next 14 hours, allegedly, J-Lo was handcuffed to a chair in a cell at the jail. But let's be real. J-Lo's been accused of some pretty shady stuff over the years, from witchcraft to not paying people and even stealing people's music. So it's no shock that she might have had a part in the shooting. She got into some criminal activity involving passing a gun over to Diddy so that he could shoot someone that he was in a fight with at the club. While fans aren't surprised by the ongoing drama, the possibility that J. Lo might have been secretly married to Diddy has them in full detective mode. Many are now dragging J. Lo, calling her out for her alleged involvement in the shooting, and their anger is palpable. A fan said, if J. Lo can facilitate the stuff that happened in that nightclub, still date Puffy, and keep quiet for years while one person goes to jail and one woman, with fragments in her face, is stalked and harassed for decades, I can't move past that. It's way, way more than not liking her for superficial reasons. Meanwhile, others think that J. Lo is not the victim she's trying to portray. Another fan said, even though I don't agree with your take with Ben Affleck and yes he does have a lot of issues, but J. Lo has been married four times, cheated on multiple spouse, so did Ben, allegedly covered up for P. Diddy felon when Natanya and the other got shot in the face, stole Mark Anthony from his wife and he and she scared her by threatening her not to tell anyone about the relationship, or she would be drowning in court and might get her from their entourage, got back with Ben. Knowing he's an alcoholic, makes alcohol brand, and now allegedly is helping Pididi after we all saw Cassie tape, and for years has built her singing career on the stolen vocals of other black Latin artists. I think that outweighs Ben drunk and cheating ways. And that's all for today. What do you think about this situation? Was J. Lo actually secretly married to Diddy? Will Ben expose some more shocking details about J. Lo? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We'll see you guys in our next video with more updates from the celebrity world.